In this video, we are going to set up our project. So this is the original code of the SafeMoon token in the GitHub organization of SafeMoon. However, it just has a smart contract file and it's not really easy to work with like this. That's why I copied over the code of SafeMoon into a Truffle project in the GitHub repository of it the blocks. So here, this is a standard Truffle project. We have the smart contracts in the contract folder. In the migration folder, we define how to deploy our smart contract. In the test folder, we can write test if we want. In package.json, that's where we define the NPM dependencies that we're going to use for our project. And in Truffle config, we have various configuration for Truffle. So for now, we're just going to check out the different dependencies we have in package.json. So here we have OpenZeppelin. This is a Solidity library that has some standard implementation like yes, 20 token. And we're going to use it in one of the smart contracts of our project. Then we have HD Wallet Provider that is allowed for deployment to mainnet and testnet. And finally, we have a Truffle plugin to do the verification of our deployment on BSC Scan. We're going to see this later. So next, we'll need to download the code of the project. So for that, we need to download the entire GitHub repo of it the block. So we go at the root of it the blocks. Then if you don't know how to use Git, you can very simply click here and here you can click on download the zip and then you unzip the folder on your computer. Or if you are familiar with Git, you can copy the URL here. Then you go to your terminal and in any folder, you can clone the GitHub repo of it, the blocks with git clone and then the address of the repo. So I've already have the repo locally, so I'm not going to do this. And after, once you are in the repo, you go in a live training, one fork safe moon, and you are in the project folder. And after you need to install the dependencies. So for that, you run npm install. So I already did it, but in your case, you're going to see a bunch of output and it's going to install everything. And after you should see a node modules folder with a bunch of stuff inside. So that means the installation has worked. Okay. So that's it for the setup of the project.